So WISEX is the RN's showcase of technology. So industry are able to come along and showcase their equipment with a view to potentially inserting that into rural naval operation in the future. What are we aiming to achieve? We have our RSIMS and crewed surface vessel here and we're working in collaboration with Raytheon UK and Raytheon USA to demonstrate their AQS synthetic aperture sonar. So here we've brought the RSIMS platform which is an open platform suitable for all this sort of technology and the AQS-20C. In a very short period of time we've brought the two together and integrated them. So the advantages of coupling the AQS-20 with our RSIMS USV is it provides a fully integrated MCM solution for mine hunting. It forms part of a wider MCM toolbox but the two together utilises the proven technology of our sims and that in turn provides you know high tempo MCM operations. The partnership between Atlas Electronic UK and Raytheon has brought two like-minded companies together. Atlas has a background in mine hunting and mine clearance in the UK for many many years. Raytheon Technologies has brought its specific technologies from the US program of record and we've brought the two together in a really very short period of time. We've now got an operational capability up here in Scotland which we're looking to demonstrate to the Royal Navy just how capable the two systems are. So in terms of development we're moving away from manned vessels. They are uncrewed and what that means is that they can increase tempo of operations as well as take the man out of the minefield, which is a far safer thing to do. Taking the man out of the loop is really important. They talk about the dull, the dirty, the dangerous, so uncrewed systems are about taking that man away from that environment. But what it does mean as well is that you can use multiple systems in collaboration, so increasing the tempo of operations as well. Well, the AQS-20C is already in service with the American Navy, and I know that there's a number of international navies looking at it as an option for this sort of system moving forward. This is now seen, I think, generally across the world as a, a good way forward to take personnel out of danger as much as possible.